الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله وصحبه وأزواجه أجمعين أما بعد Are Salafis failures? It depends on your definition of success. What is success? Let's talk about the Salafi Dawah. I've been calling to the Salafi Dawah in public for 40 years now. Tens of books. Inshallah, will be more than 60 soon. And uh, we're calling to the Quran and Sunnah and the way of Salaf al Salih. As Salaf al Salih are the first generation of Islam, the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The second generation of Islam, at Tabi'un. The third generation of Islam, Tabi'u at Tabi'een. These are the Salaf al-Salih. There is the hadith from the Mutawatir grade, Bukhari and Muslim, so many other books. So many chains of narration saying the hadith, reporting the hadith. Khayru nas the best people, Qarni, my generation. Muhammad's generation, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then the next generation, and then the next generation. These are as salaf salih Yeah, Muslims, don't act like you've been drowsy all day. You hear, salafi, salafi. Keep it in your pocket here, see where this is going to lead you to. La ilaha illallah. We call to the way of as salaf salih Some people misbehave. Don't understand the manhaj. It's not my fault. I guarantee you. It's not the fault of Abu Bakr and Umar and Uthman and Ali and Salaf al-Salih. For sure. So these are, you know, the Salaf al-Salih. And our way is to call to the Quran and Sunnah and the way of Salaf al-Salih. Where did you hear of a program that incorporates into the manhaj of calling to the Quran and Sunnah and the way of the companions of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the next two generations that we promised the Muslims to build them masajid, luxurious, big masajid, big schools, big businesses. It's a manhaj. Yeah, people, it's a manhaj to call to the Quran and Sunnah. It's a manhaj. It's not a school. It's not a sect. It is a sect, but it is the only sect that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised us by the words of our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if they follow the way of the companions that they're going to go to Jannah uh, that, the hadith is there don't worry about uh, Yasir Qadi saying uh, yeah, the second part, first part he's ignorant in Islam, ignorant in the hadith, ignorant in the Quran and maybe he's still, he's still analyzing the holes in the Quran that he didn't take back and whatever. So uh, it's a manhaj, it's a way, it's a methodology. Is It is the understanding of the religion. That's what the Salafi Da'wah is. Now, the tools, not to be confused with the manhaj, they're different from one area to another, from one era to another. So. It is a good tool to have a center to call to the Quran and Sunnah through that center, a masjid, a school, alhamdulillah. But these are the tools. So if somebody who's living in a city hasn't done much to help the Salafis, he sees that Salafis are restricted, they're resisted, they are not, they are not allowed access to the communities where they raise funds and build those big masajid. And then they call them, salaf, you know, failures. The Salafis are failures. Why? Because I didn't give you school. What about you? Why, what? You're just a, a customer. And the customer is always right. We've had up to here with these kind of people. So what did you do for the Salafi Dawah? I have been calling for 40 years to the Salafi Dawah. Visited hundreds of masajid. Tens and tens of books, classes, lectures, seminars. 
everywhere I go. Before I go, people know that I am a Salafi, a Salafi teacher. When I'm there, they hear the word as Salafu Salih many, many times. When I leave, they say, we had a Salafi teacher among us. So we've been calling to the Salafi Dawah. Don't tell me you know about the Masajid in America more than I do. I visited those Masajid driving, books in the car, because I can't ship them, I don't have the money. And Allah knows how many times, how many nights I spent in rest areas going to Masajid to court of the Sunnah. So here is a situation. If success to you is a Masjid, a luxurious Masjid, and millions of dollars and a school and a gym, that's not a manhaj. You see, there are in America at a minimum and in other areas, Salafi organizations that are substantial. They're big. I visited them. MashaAllah, they have big masajid, they have multiple places. They have school, they have gym. Some of them have even uh, outreach to non-Muslims, da'wah, which is something rare these days other than interfaith. Um, so I have seen those masajid. You live in an area where the Salafis are a minority, or they resisted. How many people resisted us? Yeah, people. We've been resisted for so many times and so many places. It is ridiculous for anyone to come and accuse us of being failures because I didn't give them what they wanted, which is a school and a masjid, and you know, go to the masjid and still they don't help the masjid that they think are the successful ones. They still don't help. They still go to the masjid, come back to the masjid, like I said many times. So those masajid, very few of them are welcoming. They don't want to hear us. But if it is something who's, someone who's popular, like myself, hundreds of masajid, they invite me once, maybe twice, and that's it. Yeah. So if anybody's asked them, uh, we invited him. Yeah, he was here. Well, nice khutbah. Yeah, anyway. What's the manhaj that's being taught in this masajid? That's the key here. It's not the building, a nice building. It's what's being taught there. The commoners are running the masajid in America. By definition, commoners don't have knowledge in the religion. By definition, a masjid is for Allah, for the worship of Allah, to rule in it by what Allah has revealed. How can you rule by what Allah has revealed if you have no idea what Allah has revealed? let alone the teaching of corrupt aqidah, teaching of corrupt ways of making, you know, salah and other things. Uh, some masajid are run. We have somebody here by somebody who worships graves, worship dead people. That's not smart. It's <laughs> shirk, but it's not smart either. They're dead. We can't help you. You know they're dead because you're worshiping them. <laughs> they're in the grave. So what's the manhaj is being taught in this masajid? They're resisting the people of the sunnah. I know for 40 years, I've had enough. I helped so many masajid establish, taught in so many, so many masajid, prepared constitutions for so many masajid, but still the trend, most of the masajid are run by commoners who don't have knowledge in the religion. As a general way, they resist people of the Sunnah. They don't allow us access to raise funds. So I'm sitting here in the city. We have big masajid. I want to start just a da'wah center. I'm not going to compete with you. You know, just a da'wah center. We can't. They won't let us raise funds. But they can allow each other and themselves to raise funds throughout the year. And when you talk to somebody, Wallah, this happened to me. Somebody used to attend my class, classes when I was in a different state. So I visited their masjid. Ah, oh, Shaykhna, Shaykhna, you're here, mashallah. If you're here, khalas, I'm going to go and do things, and the masjid is yours. Because who knows I'm leaving afterwards. So I told him one time, Are you like uh, book Zad al-Ma'ad? Yeah, alhamdulillah, Zad al-Ma'ad, mashallah. I didn't have money to reprint it. Uh, can you help us raise funds in our masjid? And they know me, the people, they know me. Uh, promises, yeah, later, later on, we'll put you on the list. I heard 
So they're saying we're booked for two, three years or something like that. I said, why don't you book yourself until the day of judgment that will make it easy for you? So when we tell, however, they allow all kinds of people, sometimes even kuffar come give bayan before Salat al-Eid. Uh, and there is funds for what? What is being taught in the masajid? This is the key here. We don't have access. We don't have money. We don't have access to the people who donate money. We don't deal with any Muslim government, period. We don't ask them for money. Uh, so how, how am I supposed to give you the masjid so that when you go, ah, my salaf is here, mashallah, they're successful. While you continue your boring, you know, uncharismatic way of not helping, not anything, but ready to criticize. We've been resisted so many times. I can tell you stories and stories about it. Disgusting. Uh, how many minutes so far? I'm going to try to finish soon, but in one big masjid, I used to go there tens of times, give classes, give no khutbah. The man there, he's a racist. He doesn't like Arabs. And I'm not the only one who said that. Other shiuk said. But anyway, I used to give classes. So I was, it's a big masjid full of lights. So after Isha, people go home. Um, we took permission, of course. We're not khawarij, you know. We took permission to give a class. So the leader of the masjid, because they don't want anybody to teach the sunnah, even to a few people. Yeah, people, yeah, people. Resistance to the sunnah is because people don't want other people to tell them they're wrong, to tell them what to do. So they do whatever comes to their mind. So we have we had this masjid. And then the caretaker of the masjid, I, I knew he wouldn't do it on his own, started turning the lights off. Like the next time, one more light, that light, that light, that light. What remained is the last on top of us. And I was teaching Riyadh al-Salihin. <laughs> Riyadh al-Salihin. So that was on top of us, that the light that remained. And I told the brothers, once he turns this off, we're done here. <laughs> this means they don't want us here. And before I finished the class, he turned it off. We were resisted. We have so many... In some masajid that I helped them raise funds, establish the masjid, some people stood in that masjid and say, may Allah curse, and then they mentioned my name. And I know they were sitting at home doing nothing to help us. Then they took over the masjid. So uh, we're not failures. Failures are those who do not teach the people the Quran and Sunnah and the way of the Salaf al-Salih. We are trying our best to teach according to the, uh, you know, what's available to us, what's, what we can do. We are, because it's a manhaj. And it's the failure of the masajid, those boy, big organizations that they don't teach the Sunnah there, don't emphasize the Sunnah. They do interfaith they bring kuffar in uh, unbelievable what they do to this masjid some very big masjid they bring once a week kuffar children to the masjid so they can associate with the muslim children in the masjid uh, aren't they having enough association in public schools so you want to call us failures based on what uh, i have never said that the manhaj of a salaf salih is to establish schools it's a methodology of understanding and practicing the religion. If we can, alhamdulillah, we can. Otherwise, I have seen resistance from the people in those decades that made me really, really sick, even to the point that I'm saying I'm not going to, I'll just keep to myself for five minutes, maybe. Minute number six, say no. We love Muslims. They call us Salafis. They accuse Muslims of being kuffar. We're trying so hard to teach you the religion because 
we believe you're Muslims and you need this knowledge. It's a manhaj. So for those who are failures, sitting in a city, they wouldn't change the city. Where the Salafis have no access, no respect, absolutely. And then you have big masajid, but you're not thinking about what's being taught in this masajid. Like, maybe you don't care. Is it the Sunnah, uh, the Muslim identity, Islamic identity? Is it being taught to the new generation? Women wearing hijab for Allah's sake? You know, at long last, يعني, subhanallah, uh, you're a failure, you're sitting in that city, your children are not benefiting, and then you're telling people uh, the Salafis are failures? Why? Why? What do you mean? Where do you want me to get a million dollars to go build your masjid? Eh? Ya Habibi, we don't have access, we have resistance. Let me end with this, and I'm hoping that inshallah everyone has heard about it you see on the day of judgment some prophets will go back to Allah with a large crowd some prophets with a smaller crowd some prophets were one or two men some prophets with no one can you imagine the best callers to Allah the most successful people who kept Tawheed on earth after all, Tawheed is why we were created, not to build luxurious things. They spent their lives as prophets. No one believed in them. Are you going to call them failures too? Because they didn't give you uh, not only the teaching, the teaching and the building and the funds and the money and the food and everything. Are you, are you uh, thinking of yourself as being successful? Get out of that town. I can give you an example or 10 or more about where you have nice communities where people try to follow the Sunnah who have also nice building in this masjid. Uh, like how many times should, I mean, 40 years I've been teaching this. I have never said to anyone, hey, come be with us, Salafis. We're gonna build you massage and build you and maybe raise armies and go fight Israel. <laughs> you know, we do what we can, but the resistance to the Sunnah is real, not Israel. They do that. It's real. And hundreds of masajid, I can remember a handful of them that were successful financially, really. <laughs> and who are open to the people of the Sunnah to teach the Sunnah in their masjid to make the da'wah to the Quran and Sunnah and the way with Salaf al-Salih their manhaj at the masjid. You see the, this, this, this statement here? This is it. Because if they allow that, then those rulers of the masjid, many of them tyrants, they resist the Quran and Sunnah, the way of Salaf al-Salih, they will lose, they, they, they know because people will discover, what are you been doing? What have you been teaching us? Why can't we have an Imam? How would we want to spend the money? So, so many masajid don't even have Imam. How many minutes? La ilaha illallah. Wallah, wallah, this is, to me, this is uh, really awful. With all the resist resist resistance we're facing, and the people who came before us in the generations before this generation been resisting to the way of the Quran and Sunnah. And you're telling us failures? Well, you're the successful one. Keep taking your family to those masajid and see how it goes. You know, the Salafi Dawah is a methodology, a manhaj on how to uh, understand and practice the Quran and Sunnah. The masajid are tools. If we can't, we can't. We would like to, but if we can't, we can't. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us knowledge in the religion. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alami.